Hello, I am Dr. Abstract, and I love CodePen. I've been on CodePen for uh, about a year now. I'm on there as two people. Uh, one is Dan Zen, inventor Dan Zen, and the other is as a sort of representative of Zim, zimjs.com. Uh, one of the things about CodePen, I'm so busy making things, uh, not only for CodePen, but for everywhere, uh, that I don't necessarily stop and get to talk to people. So this is my, <laughs> my, my attempt at stopping and getting to say hello. Uh, I would love to meet you and tell you more about Zim. Why don't I tell you a bit more about Zim right now? And uh, you can decide whether you want to come in and join us. Say hi on Slack, which is where we all communicate with one another. All right, so let me take you around the Zim site now at zimjs.com. So here we are at zimjs.com. We're on Zim version 10, and there's a bunch of things here that we can make with Zim, and this sort of describes them. We can make generative art and games and puzzles. Zim's got all sorts of components, so for UI, UX, uh, we can do data visualization and infoactives and so forth. So if you click on any of those, then you get to see a bunch of examples. Boop, 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 boop. And you can press on any of these. This one came from CodePen. You can press on any of these and try them out. Uh, same with the other ones. We've just launched this sort of uh, isometric board uh, game and physics and so forth, leaderboards and uh, mobile apps and that kind of thing. All the news as to what's going on is un under the news, and there's a bubbling videos. We're now over 100 bubbling videos in the last couple of years, so every time something new comes up, we do a bubbling video, and then a traditional blog. The About section is always a good place to look if you want to find out about things. Here's an intro to the site. Uh, various features, one-line drag-and-drop, and, well, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, there's also a Why Zim video, which is a good video to watch that really gets into the details of the types of things that Zim is good for making uh, versus something like a traditional HTML site and why we would use Zim for efficiencies and so forth, as well as a historical look at Zim, various reviews of Zim, and so forth. So that's the About section, always good to check out. Under the Examples, you can see that you're not too far away from CodePen because we, we have some examples here, and then we have our CodePen examples as well. So uh, I'm a combination of two people. Uh, one is Dan Zen, and one is Zim itself. Uh, Dan Zen, I sort of do more full apps, whereas Zim, I do sort of more simple, uh, basic type things just to demonstrate what we can do. And it's a lot. People really like the hand-drawn maze, and we can we turn that into a real maze. We've got uh, shape tweening. We do generative art. There's all sorts of dragging on paths and uh, sprites that move. It's very, very colorful, very, very easy, this stuff. And so those are the code pen examples, or just the ones that we've featured here on the site as well as others. Cool, huh? So that's under examples. The learn section is quite large. There's a teach section if you're a teacher. There's a kid section if you're a kid or, or think like a kid. And there's a school for, uh, the school is for like high school curriculum type thing. But these are all great places to learn. As well as there's things like uh, Zim badges down here. Um, the bubbling videos, the kid sites. Uh, there's all these tutorials. So these are basic level, basic JavaScript type tutorials. Here's getting started with Zim and how you can drag things and work with custom shapes. And then there's 64 Zim bits. And here are those Zim bits organized into the basic Zim bits. Then we move into the mid-level as well as video captures of how to work in the mid-level of types of things, custom fonts. Uh, custom icons and buttons and skewing and hotspots and that kind of stuff, <laughs> playing video. Then there's the advanced level, again, advanced level JavaScript, advanced level videos, um, and then advanced level Zim bits, such as parallax and pathfinding and dynamic drawing and physics and 3D. And so uh, Zim does this type of stuff. Here we are working with physics. We can throw this stuff around and add more things to the soup. 
um, and it can <laughs> do all sorts of this kind of stuff. And as you can see that there's a, a good learn section here. Then there's the code page where you have a template to get started with Zim. You hit the copy there, or if you're in CodePen, which you probably are, there's CodePen templates both in Danzen and in Zim. And the CodePen template is just this uh, bit right here, as the JavaScript stuff up here is taking care of you uh, for you in the in the CodePen template. But basically, you do things like if you can see that it's just something like new circle dot center dot drag and all that can be on one line and you've got a circle that's dragging so this is the template that uh, you can just hit the copy on there's also other versions of templates that fit inside of HTML tags there's if you're working with Adobe there's Zim Shim there's uh, links to help so this is where we get our help including uh, slack so we're on slack and that's a great place to be to talk there's other ways to minify Zim, so you can only use the things that that is are being used in your app. That's distill. Wonder is for uh, stats and stuff. Uh, but there's Zim Zap that lets you share code. Zim Zoo where you can try it live. We use these types of tools with our work. There's accessibility on the canvas, which is pretty cool. There's Zim Socket, a game module, a physics module, a uh, 3D module, and these things called pizzazz, which gives us animated backgrounds and so forth, as well as other stuff about code. Uh, although, you know, that's it's almost like learning. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do it that way. Uh, there's a Zim Docs right here, which has all of the things that we can make with Zim. And you can open up any of these to see more about it. Here's information about a sprite including links to examples, examples that are right in here, all of what the parameters mean, all of the methods, um, the properties that are available. You can then uh, go and view the code in behind. It's all open source. You can see a demo, which is a video about it. There's in bits. There's also a bunch of videos related to sprites. People have said that uh, we've got the best documentation out of any JavaScript library they've seen. And it is all pretty cool. So that's um, that's there. Our updates are here. Anything that is new, as well as a few other tricks uh, inside of there. Uh, down below at the bottom of the page, there's a link to Zoo. Tips is a great place to get started. Many examples out there are you know four or five years old. We've been going now for five years. And there are new ways that we code with Zim. And so if you see the tips, we can talk about it. For instance, we just introduced Zim Retina. And that means that we need to um, take our stage X and divide it by the scale. That's just one little thing that's, that's new. There's namespaces. We used to always say Zim.circle. Now we don't use them. How we do chaining. For a while we didn't do chaining, but now we do. And what chain is about uh, this thing called a configuration object so you can do your parameters in the old-fashioned way or you can pass in a single configuration object and we love that we call that the Zim Duo technique and it makes working with Zim a lot easier there's style just like CSS here on the canvas so Zim style that's introducing you to that we have a great way to loop that's really really easy and powerful and loops through all sorts of things there's a frame, hence Zim is a framework, how to work with our colors, distilling, chain, uh, various changes if something's missing. So these become now debugging tips. All right, so th those are tips uh, down there at the bottom. There's a link to school, some new things about Zim 10, a link to all our videos. Uh, the kids section, which is a lot of fun. You get to blow up things and you know, it's, it's just great. And then Zap is a way that you can um, share uh, code with, with people, especially if you're a, a teacher sharing with students, that type of thing. So we're loving Zim Retina. Much of Zim that's out there is not Zim Retina. That was just launched in Zim 10. And look at that crispness. This is 500 by 400, the whole thing, 500 by 400 scaled up to the full monitor. And we're getting vector quality crispness now in Zim on, on text and everything. And so, wow. That is, uh, that's really enjoyable for us to see that. So that's an introduction to Zim. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can go to uh, Slack and, and say hi there. Uh, you can leave us some messages on the, let's go into the examples here on, on CodePen. And which one's this under? So this is CodePen with, uh, with Zim, that's us. Now, 
there's a template that we've gotten in as well. So find us if you wouldn't mind. That would be great. We'd love to follow you. Uh, you can follow us and come visit us on CodePen. Here's Zim. Uh, it looks like this, and that's a sprite. Uh, that's Pragma. And I am Dr. Abstract. And all the best, and have a great day. Ciao.